everyone! Welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you how to make this block that I first made, actually that I've only made in my Halloween quilt three years ago. Every time I share the quilt I get asked what the block name is or if there's a tutorial someone can follow and I don't have any answers but today I do. So I'm sure this block has a traditional name somewhere. I'm not sure what it is. I haven't taken the time to look it up. I'm sure somebody will be sure to tell me in the comments below. But for today, we are going to be calling this block Bat Wings and Bow Ties. Kind of looks like Bat Wings, right? I will have a link below in the description to my blog where I will have a full written out description of how to make this quilt just in case the video moves a little too quickly for you. So I first made this quilt three years ago. I just wanted to have a simple pattern to use my Halloween prints in. I wanted something that would really show off the prints so I didn't want something that was too small. But I also wanted a scrappy look so I needed to have the blocks not be too big. I actually tried out several blocks before I landed on this. The one thing I knew was I wanted half square triangles. And so I made a bunch of half square triangles and I just started putting things together and this block just came to be and was perfect. I had a really fun time working on this quilt. Every block I finished and watching that quilt grow on my design wall, I just got really excited. And every time I pull out the quilt, I really get so much joy from it. Uh, it's just fun to look at. I love seeing all those Halloween prints. I, I love how scrappy it looks. So I get really excited when a quilt is fun to work on. I could definitely see myself making another quilt from this pattern in non-Halloween fabric. So you might be seeing that coming up soon in my Instagram. So be sure to visit me there. So without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, we're going to be making this block, which we're calling the bat wings and bow ties block. Kind of looks like bat wings and bow ties. So to do this, you're going to need two fabrics. You're going to need a background, which is the dots, and then you'll need your main print or your main fabric for the half square triangles that make up this design, which if you turn it on point, it's kind of a nice design. So. For the block today in the video, I'm going to be using these two fabrics. So to start, I'm going to iron them and then I'm going to cut my shapes. For this block, my background is going to be the dot and my main print is going to be this floral. So from the background pieces, we're going to cut three three and a half inch squares and three four and a half inch squares. And then from our, our main print, we're just going to cut three four and a quarter inch squares. Now from my main print, I'm going to cut three, four and a quarter inch squares. So we have three, three and a half inch squares. These are going to be the solids uh, in our block. And then we have three four and a quarter inch squares of our background fabric and another three four and a quarter inch squares from our main print. Now we're just going to set these aside and we're going to sew these together into half square triangles and we're just going to do the two half square triangle method and to do that we just put right sides together of our two fabrics and we are going to sew a quarter inch on either side of a diagonal line. So the first thing I like to do is give myself a diagonal line on one of my pieces so that I can follow that with the edge of my foot. You can finger press it or I usually find it easiest and best just to go to the iron and do that. Now that I have my fold pressed in my fabric. I can go sew a quarter inch on either side of that diagonal line and then I'll cut it apart. Okay, 
now that I have sewn those together, I've got a quarter inch on either side of the line and I'm just going to cut them apart. Now I'm going to go and press these and I'm just going to press them all towards my print. Now that I've pressed them all open, I'm going to give them a quick trim to three and a half inches square. To trim those, I take the diagonal line on my ruler and I line it up with the diagonal on the square and I go up to the top just so that I have enough to trim off the top and the side. You don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to line up my three and a half on the left and the bottom and my diagonal should already be right on the diagonal of the block and it is and now I can trim the rest off. Now I have a perfectly square three and a half inch half square triangle and I'm just going to finish up the rest. Now that my half square triangles are cut, I can lay the block out in the order I'm going to sew it together. So my three solid squares are just going like this. And now I will start to place. That will be our block. So now I'm going to start off by sewing them together in rows. And then once they're sewn, I'm going to press their seam allowances in different directions. So this block seam allowance is going to be pressed to the right. I'll press this one to the left and this one to the right. All right, I've sewn together the blocks. I should say the squares for the block and then I've pressed them. So I push this one that way, I press this one that way, and I press this one that way. So they're all opposite. So now when I go to sew the pieces together I can match up the seams and pin them at the seams. And that's what I'll do. And I highly recommend because your seams go opposite directions, it makes it nice and easy to nest, and then you don't want anything to happen when you're at the sewing machine with your seams getting messed up. So I like to put a pin in at each seam. And then I usually do another one at the ends. And now I'll go sew it together. sewed the two rows together and here's the finished block. I went ahead and pressed my seams and on this block I pressed them to the center. On the next block you make you'd want to press them out that way when you match the blocks up you can nest the seams. You're also going to want to alternate how you press your seams on the center of the block if you know how they're going to be nesting. And that's it. The block couldn't be any simpler. I can't wait to see what you make and please be sure to tag me on Instagram. I'm sometimes crafter without an E in crafter. I'll put a tag down below and uh, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Bye! I know you can whip them out in no time and I can't see what... Thanks. I can't wait to see what you make. Thank you.